will discuss about the LG, the definition of the LG, the structure of the LG, different types of the LG, the economic importance of the LG and, and how we can study the LG, what are the economic importance of the LG and what is the role that the LG play in our atmosphere, in our environment and what are the benefits of LG. very diverse. Some are found in the ocean water or marine water known as marine algae. Some are found in the fresh water. They are called as the fresh water algae. Some algae are also found in the soil. They are called as terrestrial algae. There are different forms of the algae. Some are a green algae known as chlorophyta. Some are juglenite types, that is juglenophyta. The golden brown algae and diatoms are known as chrysophyta. While the fire algae are called as pyrophyta, red algae are known as rhodophyta. Yellow green algae are called as xanthophyta and the brown algae are known as pheophyta. Sometimes the algae are blue green, known as cyanobacteria or cyanophyta. Here you see it's a green algae that is chlorophyta that is found generally in a fresh water. So the chlorophyta algae are one of the important algae that are found in the fresh water. Here you see it is another important green algae that is cara or carophyta, caraci family and it is one of the important source for fish. That is also important for a number of the small animals that found in the fresh water that depends upon cara for food and nutrition. From structural point of view, algae are classified into different forms. They are sometimes exist in the form of unicellular, multicellular organism. Sometimes they are phytoplankton that is found in our water. Sometimes they are found in a colonial form. Sometimes they are found in a filamentous form or a multicellular uh, organized structure. Here you see in a fresh water, the algae are the source of nutrition and food for the fish. So the fish industry is largely based on water that the main food for the fish come from the algae because the algae are the autotroph organism that produce food by the process of photosynthesis because the algae are known as seaweed. They are found in the fresh water, they are found in the marine water. So the marine fish, the fresh water fish largely depends upon the food by you using the algae. Here you see the strong symbiotic association of algae with the greener plants that are found in water water because the greener plants in water may get their food from algae as well because the algae may provide uh, important nutrients to the aquatic plant. So this is a mutualism or symbiotic association between algae and the green freshwater plants. They are also one of the important source of biofertilizer, soil fertilizer that are used for the number of the agricultural practices because the algae may provide a number of very important micro and macro nutrients to the growth of a number of economically important crops. Also important for the wastewater treatment. In number of the industrial countries, the algae are used to treat the natural water because the algae may absorb of heavy metals that come from industries to the water. So the algae absorb this industrial waste to uh, make a water clean, neat for reusable. Algae are also used to clean the environment because they absorb CO2 from the environment. So these are the important source for the cleaner and greener environment, especially the aquatic world. From commercial and economic point of view, the algae are one of the important plants that produce a number of the marketable products like the plastics, chemicals, feedstocks, lubricants, fertilizer and even cosmetics. A number of the algae that are used for cosmeceutical and pharmaceutical industry, while the marine algae, the ocean algae and sometimes the freshwater algae are also one of the important source for bioenergy that are green fuels or a green energy. Friends, colleagues, researchers, you enjoyed this excellent episode about the algae.